Uh, you already know who it is. Derek Diablo, Del Boy D, Del Boy Diablo. Diablo TV, like and subscribe, do the things you're supposed to do. And this is a message to the youth, to you young lads out there. Doesn't matter what country you're in. If you're watching my videos, you're into this kind of mentality, you're into this stuff, yeah? You might be a fighter, you might not be a fighter. You're growing up in this world, it's, it's rough out there. Not some, it may be physical or not, but social media with everything else that you guys got to deal with. And uh, I, I, I put this picture on the for the icon of this video. That's me when I'm 16 turning 17, like 17 years, almost 17 years old, 17 years old, something like that. And uh, I, you know, I just recently found this picture. I looked back at it. I see the look at my face, and I knew it was going through my head. And uh, when you fi when you have a lot of hatred in you, have you know, bad family situation, you're abused, whatever it is, that that makes you a type of young person that's not happy and that has hatred inside them and doesn't care if you live or die maybe and don't see any future and everything's against you police are against you the system is against you families and parents are against you they're the street you got the, and joining gangs so you have a sense of brotherhood family there natural and then when it comes to these political gangs so neo-nazi skinheads and Antifa, you know, basically political gangs. You putting colors on and a name, and you go and fighting other people and going and doing violence. And then you get the protest movement. So there is a protest movement. Some people think like, oh, people don't want to be out there protesting. Well, I mean, it's fun, especially when you're young. And let alone if the opportunity is there when you get to the black block action and the militant anarchism that really smash stuff and really you know destroy. And that fits in good with with your mentality when you're young and you're feeling this way. And you every, feel everything, everything is against you. So, uh, what my message would be to the youth out there to learn from, let's say, my mistakes I've made. Because I was ready to die for all this stuff eventually. By the time I got far enough into it, you know, I'm ready to die over it. Over the politics and these names and everything like that. And uh, what you have to be careful of is that there's people, the same people that are in power, <laughs> in positions of power, that you feel like you're trying to fight against. They co-opt these movements. This is not a secret. FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, Black Panthers, you know what I mean? You could, the whole leftist movement of the 60s, J. Edgar Hoover, COINTELPRO. They co-opt these movements. They put their agents in. They've done it with Antifa in the United States. You know, and they, they, you know, they, we know that there's more people assigned to white supremacists in the FBI than there are actually white supremacists in this country. So then what I would say to you is, believe what you want to believe. Now, what, what my thing was fighting Nazi skinheads. And we fight each other in, in our own environments, in our music territory, in our music venues and so forth. So it sounds like extremism, fighting each other, and it sounds like it's about politics, but it's not. It's about culture. It's about that well, skinheads came from Jamaica, and then later in you know, the 80s, the Nazi skinheads come out, and we fought them, but we fought them to take our culture back and show, you know, we didn't want them to taint the name of skinheads. But by the time I come in, 1987 is a clear choice. You know, there's Nazi skinheads and there's Nazis and then there's anti-racists and anti-Nazis. Boom, so I joined that side. And then it starts with the fighting and fight. you think you're just going to fight against that. And you're going to fight other gangs because you're going to walk around claiming to be in a gang and what being a skinhead at that. Most people think you're a Nazi. So you're going to get to fight with gangs. You're going to have a problem with police. You're going to have a problem with everybody. So then by having a problem with everybody, and once you, if, you, if you're that dedicated like I was, you're willing to fight and go to the hospital and risk your life. And be to go to jail over and over and over, go to state prison, representing this stuff and fighting for it. And then you're ready to go to the next level of taking extremist action, which goes beyond now a skinhead and gang thing. Now you're doing political violence. So then that's where it crosses the line. And you're, you're putting yourself in a position that you don't understand who's necessarily pulling the strings above you. And you end up doing something terrible or end up dead or end up in prison for the rest of your life. So I would just say, have a laugh with it. Express yourself. But if somebody tries to convince you, somebody older, somebody like me, somebody that has influence, somebody that has charisma, somebody that has followers, like uh, this Tommy Robinson, Stephen Yaxley guy from the English Defense League, the British National Party, you know, it's people starts looking at you. I think that guy's cool for whatever reason, for whatever other parent, your parents tell you, whoever tells you. Now they they want to take you like they want to convert football hooligans, or they want to convert skinheads or punk rockers, kids, youth, impressionable youth, who don't have much to live for, 
and think, and they start telling, hey, the, the problem is this, the problem is the police, the problem is the system, the problem is this, the problem is the immigrants, the problem is this, the problem is, then whoever they, now it's all of a sudden, they want to recruit you to go do some criminal acts or kill somebody or, or bomb something. You know, and then you say, oh, well, he's a leader. Now you're ready to martyr yourself, and you see how the other martyrs get get wrecked. Don't fall into this trap. You know, this has been a this has been a, from both sides recruiting football hooligans, recruiting gang members, recruiting young people who don't have something else to live for, and now you're offering them the sense of of recognition and power. Now you're with a group. And uh, then you see how, how the people who die for this movement or go to prison, you say, oh, well, they're respected. Yeah, well, you ain't, believe me, the glory is gone once you're dead and you're, or you're in prison for the rest of your life over this. So I'm speaking from experience. And think for yourself. Yeah, if you want to be a communist, a Nazi, an anti fog whatever you want to be, you go out and get in fights over it, street fights, blah, 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 blah. That's normal to me, and you do your time for street fighting stuff. Now you start talking about taking it to the next level, that true extremism. And start thinking that this is worth giving your life for. You got to pull yourself back, man. There's more to live. There's more to live for. There's more to enjoy in this lifetime. And uh, I thank God and Jesus and my friends, pe my people around me and stuff. And having a lot to live for, actually. Because you get to the point, you know, a lot of the neo-Nazis, they paint themselves, get all the tattoos and everything, they paint themselves into a corner. And, you know, what? now you have no future, no potential. You're already hated, let alone now you're facing prison time or something like that. And then it leads to somebody doing some something crazy. So think for yourself. Don't let uh don't let politicians, don't let charismatic leaders put ideas into your head that's gonna end up costing you your life. So I'm warning young people who may have, who are influenced by me or you know, who are looking at the, the, my life and the things I've done, draw the line when it comes into some true extreme. If you're just doing pure political violence, not related to music and not related to youth culture. Be careful, because it's adults or the system above you running that, and they're going to be living in their mansions, and they're going to be enjoying life while you give your life for a cause that these people don't even really believe in.